we're here with head of high performance Sean Murphy for round three's Libby financial performance update. Murph, obviously not the desired result, but there were two outstanding performances from a performance aspect from Darcy Parrish and Peter Wright. Can you take us through that? Yeah, so um, really good start to the game. Um, really impressive from coming off last week's game against Geelong. The boys really had a crack early on, and um, you know, Parrish was one of those guys that his intensity around the ball just went to another level. Um, he's had, you know, in our metrics with our high intensity numbers, he had over 750 metres um, of our high intensity numbers, but 380 of that came in the first quarter. So just the heat that he brought around in the first quarter and um, really set us up was, was really impressive. So that was great to see, you know, the response, uh, especially from that midfield group. Um, around contested ball and that side of it. And then uh, Peter Wright, had a, he actually had a very good start to the game as well, but just the metres that he covers in the game. You know, he's covered over 14 Ks in the game as a big fella, um, playing forward in the ruck. So just the ability to cover ground as a, uh, a mobile sort of tall is, is you know, really worthwhile for our team and um, you know, it was outstanding to see on the night. There was a notable off the field performance from our round one uh, NAB AFL Rising Star nominee, Nick Martin. Can you take us through what Nick has been doing as he works his way through those health and safety protocols? Yeah, so Mato's had just about everything since he's uh, come to the club. He's, he's, you know, he's been outstanding in terms of his, the way he's attacked the sessions and his pre-season. Um, you know, gets the NAB Rising Star um, nomination and then, you know, has to go into the health and safety protocols, which is really unfortunate for him to miss round two. Um, he hasn't missed a beat since he's been in there. So we dropped off a, a treadmill for him and a couple of bits of equipment. Um, had a look at his backyard. He's got a nice little bit of grass patch out the back there and um, was able to put the boots on and do some shuttles and. And, you know, keep himself ticking along. He did, you know, an 8K session um, or over 8Ks um, on the treadmill and those shuttles just in his backyard over the weekend. Um, hasn't missed a beat. Um, he'll come back training with us main session on Wednesday um, and then put his name up for selection again on Friday. So, you know, really good for him and, um, you know, look forward to seeing him back out there. Unreal news for Marta and another positive as we turn our attention to the injury side of things. Uh, key defender Zach Reid, he's completed a long rehab process, but there's some really good news with him. Yeah, so, you know, really uh, anticipated return for young Zach Reid. So he had the uh, back injury at the back end of last year, which has been the uh, the main injury um, early on in the preseason. And then he just had a little bit of foot soreness, sesamoid bone that was um, got to just manage. And he's now built his loads back up and will play, you know, around about a half of footy this weekend um, in the VFL. And we'll just build his loads up gradually over the next sort of three to four weeks. Um, but really exciting to be out there. And he's built a good block of, you know, training behind him now the last month and a half. Um, to actually get out there and play some footy, which is really exciting for him. Dylan Shill was sort of a late, not too late, but a late out uh, in our round two clash. Can take us through how Dill's uh, managing his side strain. Yeah, so Dill picked up uh, sort of a side strain early in the week, which, you know, just we didn't need to manage it late in the week and just didn't quite get up for the game. Um, he's still a test for this weekend, but, you know, hopefully he'll get through some uh, skills and, and training tomorrow and, you know, we'll work through that process and, and see what his availability is for Friday night. The fourth quarter against the Lions saw two ankle injuries to Nick Cox and Zach Merritt. Uh, we'll maybe start with Nick Cox. Uh, what's the prognosis for him? Yeah, we were going all right from an injury front there in the uh, that game, and then just the back end, that last sort of five to ten minutes, bit of carnage um, with those guys going down. Coxie being the first one that went down with that ankle injury, um, you know, not as severe as, as Merritt's injury, but um, he'll miss this weekend's game. Just you know, we were hopeful that he'd come up for the the weekend, but you know, six day turnaround, just still a little bit swollen and sore sort of at this time of the week. So, um, you know, he's doing everything he can to get on top of that. His acute management's been awesome and um, he's going to give himself a chance sort of uh, leading into next week. With Zach Merritt, uh, obviously pretty unfortunate news with his syndesmosis injury. What's the process now for Zach? Yeah, so Zach, um, you know, post-game was actually not, not too bad. So we were pretty hopeful that it was, um, you know, he got away with the, the syndesmosis injury. But unfortunately, uh, on scan the next day, it, it presented with, um, you know, the high grade um, ankle injury. So you now he'll uh, go into surgery early this week. And, and then you know, it's all about how he comes out of that from a surgical point of view that then we can set some time frames. But um, you know, the acute management's gonna be key and um, we'll just build him up once he uh, gets back into the club. How's Will Snelling progressing with that calf injury? Yeah, Snells is um, progressing along really well. So, um, you know, ticking all our markers, he's back running. Um, we'll see him integrate back into some skills next week. Um, and our plan is to sort of build him up for round four, be Adelaide. Harry Jones, how's he tracking uh, with his ankle injury? 
Yeah, so Jonesy's um, you know, had that interrupted pre-season. Um, we're still just building him up over the uh, you know, the course of the next couple of weeks, and hopefully we'll see him uh, playing some footy in the next uh, next few weeks. And finally, Cole Langford, uh, how's Cole's rehab going with that hammy? Yeah, so Lang has um, that round one injury. Um, he's you know, booked in for surgery this week. Um, just being the location of the injury, you know, same thing that he had last year. Um, we've gone down the surgical path uh, with this one. So um, you know, he'll get the surgery um, this week and then we'll just you know, build up from there and you know, sort of get a time frame once he sort of gets back into the club and, and get him going. Murph, thanks so much for your time. No worries.